All right, joining us now, we've been talking about Heartland Park Topeka and what's going on and new owners stepping in. Who better to tell us about it than our friend Rick Peterson from the Topeka Capital Journal. He joins us now. How are you doing, Rick? I'm doing great. So yeah. you are the man when it comes to the what's happening up here. First, let's talk about what happened to the original uh, man that was going to purchase this uh, uh, purchase Heartland Park. What, why did he bail out at the last second? Well, I think it was it was probably a deal where, uh, as it usually is, money just mm -hmm. wasn't there. Uh, I think uh, the bank probably saw some things that uh, weren't going to be there, and, and it was probably a mutual agreement. Or the bank said, "Hey, this is." this just isn't going to work so uh you know as it usually does in business deals it, it, i think it came down to money i i assume you guys heard the news last night yes about the mhra that's back on the schedule now yeah, yeah. it's back on the schedule and i think it's back on uh chris Payne was trying to negotiate a long-term deal so i think uh, the future is pretty secure but i think they were i think everybody both core first and Chris Payne and everybody involved had a sense of urgency, and uh, rightfully so. Rick, uh, what uh, what do you know about the dirt track? Has there been any mention of the dirt track? I know that uh, obviously NHRA is back on the schedule, but uh, I think a lot of people are concerned about the future of the dirt track. What do you know? Well, I don't know much yet, but I will know more as soon as the holidays. You know... Scott, this thing, I mean, this thing basically all came down in a matter of hours, you know. Yeah. So I think everybody was scrambling just to get just get the deal done and all that. But uh, in my mind, um, you know, you got to use the dirt track. I think the dirt track has as, uh, as, as much potential as anything. I'm a little more concerned about the road course, just that I think it probably needs a lot of work. And I don't know, uh, you know, what their thinking is on that. But as soon as the holidays get over, I think I'll sit down with Mr. Payne and we'll probably do a series of stories on what exactly his plans are for 16 and beyond. But, boy, I would sure think the dirt track is uh, has to be a viable part of uh, their plans. 